Well, thousands more affordable housing units could soon be coming to San Diego, and that's because county leaders want to build housing on property owned by the county. Our Alani Latang is live along the Embarcadero with the new information that she's learning today. Alani. Maria, county leaders, uh, including Supervisor Chair Nathan Fletcher, joined with other housing developers to really tackle what quality of life looks like, an overall quality of life. And they say that starts when people are able to afford where they live. And the simple reality is people who work full time ought not struggle to be able to put a roof over their head. Thousands more affordable housing coming to the county. County Supervisor Chair Nathan Fletcher, Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer, and the San Diego Foundation are working to build those homes. Meeting at a county owned lot in Linda Vista neighborhood that will soon turn into 126 affordable housing units for seniors. It's a starting point. Our goal is ambitious. We would like to master plan and build 10,000 units of affordable housing. The leaders say building homes is costly. The process can be lengthy. Building on government land can speed things up. The plan is simple. We're using public land for the public good. An S&P case and shilling index shows home prices in San Diego County increased 29.6%, the biggest annual rise since 2004. Rental prices also up. Rent.com shows a two bedroom apartment is up 21% from last year. County leaders want the county's 18 cities on board with using government land for affordable housing. We've got to do more and I think every city's got to feel the same way. It's an economic issue, it's a family issue, it's an environmental issue. Uh, it really cuts across the board and so we got to move in creative ways and new ways. Everything comes back to housing. Mark Stewart with the San Diego Foundation says they are promising $10 million for affordable housing projects. They're also looking to support housing for teachers, police officers. Those who take care of us in our service economy. San Diego can't be this incredible place to live, work and play without them. And so that's the appeal that we're going to make. The money from the San Diego Foundation will be flexible. It's up to each affordable developer to sort of figure out what they need and seek the, those funds in terms of how the affordable housing will look. It'll be a variety of options, one bedrooms, cottages, just depending on the location. Reporting outside the county admin building, Alani Latang, Fox 5 News. All right, Alani, breaking it down for us. Thank you so much.